ready to roll here. Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Andrew from Team Blacktop YGO here. Today, I'm bringing you a video on my January 2019 ban list predictions and my wish list. I'm doing a two in one style video here. Um, basically, I'm going to say, you know, like what I think Konami will do, and then I'm going to say what I think should happen. Um, so, yeah, let's just get right into it here. Um, oh, before I start, actually, so the format uh, of this video is going to be like, instead of just um, going from banned to limited to semi limited to unbanned, I'm just going to. Uh, Go, go through the different decks and sort of um, tell you like how I want those decks to be addressed or whatever, how I think they'll be addressed. So let's just uh, start right off here. Um, so first, I think Sky Tiger is going to get like heavily hit on this list. I think they're, they're going to hit Engage to 2, Widow Anchor to 2, and Kigari to 1. Um, I, I've kind of went back and forth on this, but put, uh, potentially, so like, I think we're going to see 2 out of these 3. Um, so like either Kigari is going to go to 1, and Widow Anchor will go to 2, or Kigari will go to 1 and Engage will go to 2, or Widow Anchor will go to 2 and Engage will go to 2. It's, it's a, any, com any combination of 2 out of these 3 will be probably what um, will, what Konami will do. And, you know, I, I can't disagree with that. I think this is like the appropriate hit to Sky Striker. I mean, I, I love the deck, I play the deck, um, and it's really fun to use, but I, yeah, I think I think this is probably what Sky Striker needs. Uh, they are getting more support, though. In the upcoming Savage Strike, so be looking out for that, I guess. I don't think it's going to make it, uh, make it, it's not anything too impactful, but just be looking out for that. So, for that's for Sky Striker, and yeah, like I said, that's what I'd want to, for Sky Striker to have hit. Um, next is going to be Thunder Dragon, and for that, I think Konami, all they're going to do is just hit Gold Sarcophagus to one. Um, so I apologize for the picture of Gold Sark, uh, it's not the best, but it's what I found. Um, I don't think they're going to do anything with the main deck. Uh, or, or not the main deck, rather, but the uh, the Thunder Dragon engine in itself. Uh, they're just gonna hit the consistency card because Gold Sark is like what a, a free like Colossus or something or f free Colossus Titan, whatever. Um, yeah, it's it's just free card advantage, and that's <laughs> that's never like that's never okay. Um, I mean, yeah, it will hit some of the decks that are using this. Uh, like some Light Sworn variants use this, but Light Sworn like nobody plays Light Sworn in 2019, at least at least not that all that relevantly. So Gold Sark one, I think that's what Konami will do. Uh, what I would like to see personally, instead of Gold Sark being hits one, I want to see Colossus at two. Um, potentially like both actually, I'd like to see Gold Sark one and Colossus to two. Um, this would this would sort of like inhibit the ability for the um, for the Thunder Dragons to floodgate. Uh, I I just really hate floodgates, and you might see uh, later on in this list like how how I sort of represent that feeling. Um, but yeah, I think Konami will put Gold Sark to 1 in, but I personally want Colossus to 2. <laughs> I doubt that'll ever happen. Maybe on in the future, whenever Konami's like, okay, we've had enough of Thunder Dragons, let's just get on to the next thing. But yeah, uh, those are my choices there. Uh, for Ultra Geist, uh, Multifigure to 1. I think this is an appropriate hit. Like, of, of all the decks that um, are running around right now, uh, I, I can't decide if I hate uh, Thunder Dragons or Ultra Geist the most. Um, Ultra Geist just the, the the thing I don't like about Ultra Geist is that like they just have like uh, main deck you know like level three and lower monsters that are really really powerful and I, I don't think they need to be that powerful. They, they like they rely on their traps, but like their traps aid their monsters and their monsters like in turn you know like like what uh, what's the one that can bounce to hand. Whatever one bounces to hand, you know, that that's that's broken. <laughs> that, that's dumb as heck. But uh, Multifigure is like a consistency card in the deck. Um, and it's just like a free special summon. Yeah, I don't know. That's It's it's pretty 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 good in the strategy. So Multifigure to 1, I think, is a fair hit. Um, what I also would like to see is Seeker Village banned. I, I hate this card. This, like, this basically, um, if, if you go first and you're playing Altergeist and you're playing against Sky Striker... You play this card, and yes, yeah, that's the auto win right there. Like your opponent can't do anything against that. Um, I don't know. It's dumb. It's it's a it's a poorly. I, I don't know if it's a poorly designed card because I think I think it's an older card. And like back back in the day, like I don't know. It's I don't I don't think they've ever foresaw this being a broken card. But in some decks, like Alter Geist, with all spellcasters for some weird reason, yeah, Seeker Village is a dumb card. So, yeah, I'd want that banned. But I, I don't think Konami will touch this card at all. I think they'll just hit, like, um, Multifaker to 1 or something. Who knows? But that's it for Ultra Geist. And last but not least for the Dark Warrior, Ronga Mini Ad style decks. Um, I, I guess I shouldn't say last but not least. But for the <laughs> for the Dark Warrior, Ronga Mini Ad decks, I think they're going to ban Ronga Mini Ad. Um, this card, uh, 
this card is just it's not I, I'm not gonna say it's poorly designed because I, I think it's a really cool idea the, the fact that it powers up based on the materials it has um, I think that's a cool idea but I think with just how powerful like the other parts like the main decks have gotten and the other you know uh, link monsters have gotten this card just needs to go um, it's the deck it plays it in is way too good and consistent it, it can pretty much always get this thing out um, it can play through interruptions if it has like the call by the grave or the midbreaker field um, they can also Neospace Connector you. It's, it's, it's dumb. But, yes, I think, uh, I think Rongo will be banned. Um, and I don't know if they'll touch anything else. Uh, I think they might, they might touch Gumblar. Um, I doubt it. They, and they also might touch Summon Sork. Um, and I definitely want these banned as well, uh, for sure. But I doubt, Konami has a problem with hitting, like, problem cards that are fairly obvious. Like, Gumblar's been around for a while, and people have been complaining about it for a while, much like Firewall, although I will say, Firewall's probably, Firewall is a definite need to go. Gumblar is like a, okay, whatever, you know, it's it sucks, and it probably should not be in the game, it's an unhealthy card, but um, I doubt Konami will get rid of it. And I also kind of doubt Konami will get rid of Summon Sorceress that easily. I mean, it wasn't, it was released into the uh, outside North America not too long ago, so they might want to let it rain around, run around for a little bit longer. Who knows, but I would also probably hit these. Um, and then, uh, what else here? So for other hits, I doubt Konami will hit these, but I think um, Sardesia Skulldread needs to get hit to one. Uh, the, the Danger deck, uh, I don't remember if it got... I know it like it topped, or it got like topped... It was either first or second place at YCS Sydney. The Danger deck, they would just like abuse this card. Um, not abuse this card in particular, but there are other cards that... Uh, the, the the other decks that can abuse Saryusha Skull Dread, it's it's dumb. Like like I I never thought I never thought that Saryusha Skull Dread would be a problem card. Like it's a, it's a big boy link four, and its best effect is the you know draw four, put back three, and that requires four monsters with different names. I never ever thought that we would be seeing that. Um, never thought we'd be seeing Saryusha Skull Dread be a problem card in the game, but here we are. Um, I think it does need to go to one. That being said, though, I think um, the problem with Saryusha is, is like, a lot of it comes from the problem with the way cards are being designed now. Like, the dangers, the dangers are just, they're stupid good. The dangers are stupid good. Um, they, they're they all upstart goblins if you, if they don't hit themselves. And if, if you do hit them, you know, they're always, like, pluses. Like, they'll always hit, hit a card you control, they'll, like, they'll pop a card, they'll special summon from deck in, in the case of uh, Jackalope. Jackalope's just... Gosh, that, that card is... Any card that's a special summon from deck is good. <laughs> it, it, it's broken, really. But yeah, yeah, Jackalope's dumb. Nessie, Nessie's okay. It's a searcher, but Nessie's kind of dumb as well. When you could put, like, bodies on board as well as that deck can, Sorry, Asia needs to go. Um, and then Trickstar Reincarnation. I don't know uh, if this hit is as necessary, but uh, Trickstars are getting some new support, and I kind of want... <laughs> I want Reincarnation to be hit to one or two, because this card is just done. Like, the Droll and Lockbird combo with this, uh, yeah, that that's that's asinine. That should never be, never have been in the game. Um, maybe that's a problem with Droll and Lockbird. Because, like, Reincarnation in and of itself isn't too unfair, per se. I mean, yeah, if your opponent runs, like, a one of, and it's in their hand, and you banish it with Reincarnation, yeah, it feels bad, man, but, like, Maybe the, maybe the larger problem is Droll. Um, we'll just have to see, though. I think for now, Reincarnation to 1 wouldn't be too bad. Maybe even 2 would be okay. Um, and I think, yeah, that's going to be it for this video today. Uh, please let me know if I missed anything that you think should be uh, addressed on the next ban list. I know I've heard of a lot of people say, like, the dangers themselves should be hit. And uh, although this would, you know, be preferable, I think, I doubt Konami would ever do that. Um, until, at the very least, until all of the danger support has been released. Um, I, people think Azold should be hit, Phoenix Blade, these cards, I don't know, I don't think they're that, they're, they're not that oppressive by themselves, like, um, what makes Dark Warrior so good is, like, you have cards like Ronka Miniad and Gumbler to go into, and Summon Sork, Summon Sork is just, is just dumb, so I think Azold can stay, maybe Phoenix Blade if, uh, Phoenix Blade should get hit, or Azold if, if the problem persists, but, I don't know, I don't see that for right now, anyways, thank you so much for watching, um, please subscribe if you want to see more of these videos, and, uh, Leave a comment down below if I missed anything or if, if you felt I was right about this. Um, thank you so much for watching. This is Andrew from Blacktop YGO signing off. Thank you so much.